an open letter to Life Brand Incorporated. Upon returning home from a quick trip to a generic drugstore in search of cheap panty liners, I discovered I'd made a horrific mistake. Instead of panty liners, I'd accidentally bought a box of gynecologist-tested single-use wet wipes? <laughs> Promising to gently cleanse to remove odor? Enriched with aloe and vitamin E? <laughs> Let's get one thing straight right off the bat, Life Brand. My pussy smells amazing. Yeah! If I found myself thinking that my pussy did not smell amazing, I consider whether I was actually suffering from some patriarchy-induced shame about, God forbid, smelling like a living, breathing, occasionally bleeding mammal. See, the solution here is not your cleansing wipes, life brand, because I'm pretty sure that I don't want to smell like propylene glycol, tocopherol acetate, PEG75, disodium phosphate, disodium EDTA, or iota propanol butyl carbamate. What the fuck? <laughs> to the gynecologist who tested those cleansing wipes, stop putting that stuff on your crotch. <laughs> I need to add, Life Brand, you caught me on a bad day. I just spent seven hours shivering in an aggressively air-conditioned courtroom while a dear friend testified in a sexual assault case. So while I sat in disbelief in the bathroom afterwards holding a box of chemically treated, crisply folded, bleached white, wet cotton wipes, I was upset about a few things. Like being told once again that this female body is inferior and needs to be controlled. Like being insulted by someone I've never even met. Like, oh, like street harassment. Like having to keep an eye on my drink. Like being raped. Like a woman subpoenaed to testify against her will when she'd really rather not relate the details of rape in a cold-ass courtroom to a man in a wig. Like the justice system encouraging the prevalence of rape in prison because that's considered an acceptable deterrent to committing a crime. Like daily reminders of how power works against me appearing about as gently as a brick wall slamming up in front of my face leaving me with a sudden taste of blood in my mouth. And I'm so tired, Life Brand. I need at least a tiny victory. Victory. So if you want the next visit to the feminine hygiene aisle to happen without a discreet flask of gasoline and some strike anywhere matches, you'd best consider this a public relations emergency, issue a national apology, fire that gynecologist, yank the pussy deodorizing products, refund my $4.51 and just consider this the cost of doing business. Thank you for your time. I look forward to your reply. Yeah.